Hey guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. The big one, the reveal of my new car, the Golf R replacement. Now, before we get stuck in to the video, there's a couple things to note. No, that is not my car, that is my mum's car. We just share the same initials, it's just a family thing. We like to have our initials on our plate. Um, that is her Abarth 695 XSR. Although it's very filthy at the moment, it's her daily driver. She's had it for about two years um, and I don't really feature much of it on the channel. So if you wanna see more of that, then let me know. It's a hot hatch at the end of the day, isn't it? Um, and the second thing is um, I'm gonna be doing a rare premiere on this. So if you, those of you who are watching this live, as the video go comes up, um, then hello, welcome, thank you for tuning in. If not, then just ignore all of the secrecy behind this because once the premiere is done, I'll change the title and thumbnail to something where it's pretty obvious as to what I've bought. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, I am incredibly excited, pretty nervous and arguably a little bit late. So let's hop in at the Abarth, get on the road, and head towards my brand new car. The mystery dealership, uh, one which shall not be named as of yet, uh, although it's probably pretty obvious if I put it in the title. Um, so yeah, there's there's been a, a big build-up um, to, to this video, um, obviously due to all the, the test drive videos which have been going up um, pretty much every day uh, over this last week, with thank you to Church of Performance, like I've already mentioned uh, in those videos. Um, but yeah, I've made up a mind. Um, I put a deposit down on this car, um, I think two or three days ago now. Um, and, uh, yeah. Oh, look, a Golf R. Hello. <laughs> that was a really bad time, wasn't it? Oh, um, so yeah, we're on our way to the dealership now. Um, why did I have to see a Golf R on this? At least it wasn't blue, okay? At least it wasn't blue. Um, but yeah, we're in the Abarth. Um, I haven't been in this car for ages. Um, it's on nearly 19,000 miles now. Um, so it's my mum's daily driver, like I mentioned. Um, and yeah, it's a good old car. She's putting her thumb on out of shop right now, she loves this car. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're on our way to go get Chloe, my girlfriend. Um, she joined me on the last collection day uh, of the Golf R, um, and it's only right for her to join me on this one. Um, so yeah, not too far to go now. Um, the nerves are building and the excitement is building. Uh, but yeah, anyway, let's uh, let's cut to the scene and um, show you the dealership, I guess. Shall I do that? That'll be a big giveaway, actually, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. So. We have arrived. Um, it, yeah, it's, well, actually, it's a BMW and Mini dealership, so technically, it's still not a giveaway. But uh, here we are. Let's hop on out of the car once we've parked up and uh, go on inside. I am shaking. <laughs> so, of course, it was going to be BMW. <laughs> so here we are at my local BMW dealership. But before we go on inside and show you the car. Uh, let's have a little wander around. This has caught my eye, lovely M4. You don't see many of these, I think, anyway. I don't know if it's just because it's my area. Don't think it's the competition pack, so it doesn't have the competition wheels. Still has that lovely carbon roof, which is very cool. I oh, was speaking to one of the sales guys, actually. They have a manual M4 here. Wait, is it this one? No. Manual M4s are extremely rare. Lovely colour as well. Got a couple of 140Is, M2 as well. But yeah load of stuff. Anyway, I'm really rather excited and I have a lot of paperwork, so look at the colour on this. Um, so I'll go inside, do the paperwork, and then show you the car. And no, it's not one of those. <laughs> so then, paperwork is done. I now own a car. Here is the key. And say hello to my new M140i Shadow. So then, <laughs> here we go, my new car, an M140i Shadow Edition. It is a 2019 model, which yes, has the dreaded GPF filter, or OPF or PPF filter, however you want to say it. Uh, however, that shall be dealt with. <laughs> it's finished in Estoril blue, which is a very, it's a very deep, um, yet quite bright, sparkly blue. We have the 
black kidney grills at the front. Now normally these come in chrome. There is still a bit of chrome on the car anyway, but that's come black uh, as factory. I've got my custom plates on there at the moment. I'm yet to put my plates on. We have the 18 inch gunmetal gray five spoke wheels with those nice blue calipers behind. Silver there, they're gonna be black. To be honest, there's gonna be a lot of changes to this car. But anyway, let's have a look inside. I've gone for the, do they call it DCT? It's gonna take a while for me to not say DSG. But anyway, we'll hop inside. Seeing as this is a 2019 model, we have uh, the facelift. Um, so we've got the half analog dials up there. Um, but yeah, this is it, full leather interior. Um, and yeah, I'm a little bit lost for words actually. Got hated seats, so Chloe's gonna be happy. Um, but yeah, oh, Harman Kardon as well. That's gonna be nice on the old road trips. But yeah, here it is. <laughs> it is actually really bizarre to be thinking that this is my new car, but there we go. Wowzers. So casually keep diving into concrete. So bittersweet. So, I think there's only one more thing left to do. Let's hop back in the car and get this thing fired up. I think it's gonna be a cold start, but anyway. Keyless, gonna have to watch that. Um, it goes in there, and where is it? There it is. Here we go. <laughs> so yeah, it's a GPF car, but still, if I whiz round to the back. Not bad, not bad. Anyway. <laughs> Let's get the miles on and get this thing out for its very, very first drive. Okay, here we are. <laughs> oh, this is Chloe, by the way. Hello. For those of you who haven't seen. Um, you came, actually, you found this car. Yeah, me. yeah, I found the car. Um, I work here on the weekends, don't I? So that's the thing, yeah. Um, as soon as it popped uh, up, I knew. I'd like to say that this is my first drive in this car, but I test drove it a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> um, but anyway. First couple of real meters in this car. Where am I going? Over there, right? Straight over, but you've just been blocked. It's just been blocked. Uh, typical people that don't know, know how to use roundabouts. I'm a BMW driver now. I can be a, a knob. Oh yeah, indicators. What are they? What are they? Oh, well, this one has them fitted. Wow. Interesting. Anyway, let's chuck this into Sport Plus. But can we do the real first test? Oh yeah, sorry. The heated seat. <laughs> this is my only preference. <laughs> Oh dear, this is surreal. This, this is, is so real. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I love those dials. They're really nice, aren't they? I never realised how nice so, the interior actually was yeah. on them. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, I, I really like it. Um, you're, you're a secret BMW fan, I know you are. Yeah, I am. I am, to be honest. And as soon as you said about the 140, um, I yeah. feel like I was a lot more excited than when you first said about the Golf R. I don't know. Oh, just, interesting. I feel like this is okay. quite different from both. Obviously, it's completely different to the A1, but body wise as well. Yeah, yeah. It's obviously completely different to the last two. So. Yeah, those of you who have been around since the A1, Aww. the true OGs. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this is crazy, actually. I can't believe you've got a new car. <laughs> it all happened so quick as well. Yeah, it actually like. did, yeah. How's the heat seat? Has it kicked in yet? Yeah, Joe, you know we're getting there. Lovely. Yeah, we Lovely. are getting there. At least I can keep it for a bit longer because you're not going to say, oh, I hate your seats so crap, I don't like it, tell it. <laughs> anyway, I think what we're going to do now is we're going to take it to a little car park so I can show you around the car again and for me to dribble over it, probably. <laughs> um, and then we'll round the video up. But uh, yeah, here we go. The new car. <laughs> <laughs> So, okay, actually, tell you what we will do. We'll uh, pop the bonnet quickly. Oh, now we are losing light, I will admit. But we can take another look at this thing outside of the dealership. Let's have a little look under here. Have a look at that glorious B58. This little boy has a lot of potential. <laughs> oh my, this is really quite surreal, actually, to be uh, to be saying that this is my new M140i. What do we all think then? M140i. I'm now a BMW owner. So I've had Audi. I've had Volkswagen, and now I've gone BMW. Need a Mercedes next. Anyway, yeah, there we go. Um, let me know what you think. Um, a couple of people, actually quite a few people have actually guessed. Um, 
that uh, I was going for an M142, but of course I wasn't going to reveal any of that. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think. Have I made a good decision, a bad decision? Let me know down in the comments. Either way, it's not really going to matter, so do your worst. Um, but yeah, I um, <laughs> don't know what else to say. I'm pretty speechless actually. Today has been a whirlwind. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, then please do make sure you leave a like and make sure you're subscribed for all of the future content with this beast. I, I have some plans, um, some plans. I'm a YouTuber, right? I've got to do these things. It won't be wrapped green, don't worry. Um, but yeah, thank you ever so much for watching and uh, I shall see you very soon.